Hello Pisces, welcome back to Path of Enlightenment Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well and fantastic. Um, this is going to be your weekly reading from December 4th to December 10th. Uh, sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus cross watcher if that's you. Welcome to the channel as well. Guys, always discern the messages, flip the rules as it applies. Uh, Pisces, <laughs> sat down to do your reading, did a little bit of meditating, and I heard say la vie, and I was like, I know I know what that means. And I had a moment, my quirky, like, empty-mindedness. I think sometimes I'm so much in the other realm of the spirit that I tend to forget, like, real-life stuff. <laughs> um, but I had to look it up, nonetheless. And it was, that's the life, or that's life, or something like that. And I was like, okay. I'm like, I knew I heard that before. Um, and <laughs> it was funny, because I just heard after that, I was just like, so this is it. So this is, this is life. That's what this is. And I'm like, okay, gotcha. So uh, Pisces, I'm curious. It feels like a little bit of playful energy, like it is what it is kind of energy that you've got going on this week. Uh, it's a nice change of pace from the last reading that I did. So I'm excited to see what, what this week holds for you on 11 on the clock. Heat and expectations. Um, I don't know. We'll see. So with that, real quick, thank you to all the subscribers that stick around. To all of those of you who are new, thank you for joining the channel as well. Uh, comments, shares, subscribes, likes, donations, booking of personal readings. I appreciate each and every single one of you. So thank you for all you do to support the channel. It means the world to me. So yay, I get excited. Okay, so anyhow, uh, Pisces, let's dive in and see what's going on this week for you. I can't help but have the giggles for some reason. Um, you could kind of like kind of like kid in a candy store kind of feel <clears throat> can't help but like glee with excitement or just silliness or something like that that could be your inner child at play as well discernment and unity uh, coming together in bands or groups of people Pisces what is that um interesting let me see yearning for more yearning for more um I feel like you guys are looking at, this could be, I don't know what this is. I actually might clarify that card. There, there's something that you are viewing and you're like, hmm, this has potential. So let's, let's see, let's see. And I don't, even though that expectation showed itself, I don't, I don't feel like you're having an expectation of something. I feel like it's more of a, Let's see what happens, kind of vibe, okay? So for Pisces, please spirit, what do they need to know? Friction, ooh, Pis Pisces, what the hell? What is this? Um, alliance on the bottom, efficiency in the upright, revision, core and formation. Um, hmm, spirit, what do we got going on here? <clears throat> I do feel like you guys are sensing or seeing through from the heart space, which I, I do like that. I think that's a good good place to be in um, when it comes to discerning. So it's kind of like seeing, feeling, acknowledging something. Um, it seems like you might be waiting for something to drop in your hand, like waiting on something to kind of just fall to you, come to you. Um, and I'm going to say this, as long as you're doing the work, you know, like you set your intentions, you do the work, things are due to come in at some point, one way or another. Um, something is drawing you in. Something is definitely drawing you in. My concern, Pisces, and I'm just going to shoot straight with you, is this, this card of friction. Um, Something's definitely, I don't, I don't feel like this is a temptation necessarily. It feels more like, could be a little daydreamy, which Pisces, there you are, page of, uh, page of cups, right? Um, somebody, if anything, Pisces, somebody else is opposing somebody else is opposing what it is you're looking at. They may feel abandoned or ignored in, in a situation here. I, I feel like you're pretty, you're feeling pretty abundant right now though. Like your energy, I feel like is good. This, 
non-supportive energy though is eh, not a big fan of the way they're coming in they're huffing puffing blowing the house down it's like the you know the three little pigs and the, was it a wolf i think it was a wolf um they're not so on board with whatever it is that you're interested in at this time so it's like and they may give you icky vibes they may give you some icky vibes this friction for Pisces. What is this friction for Pisces? Temperance. I told you they could be feeling abandoned or ignored or whatever, right? There's the Five of Cups. Um, temperance card came out with it though. They thought you were working on something, maybe pertaining to them, but they may feel like what you're doing is pertaining to you instead. Um, Ooh, what's striking up here? The Ace, ooh, yeah. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Swords energy showing underneath there. Um, it's a good day. Um, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, I, I feel like maybe at some point, Pisces, uh, you may have had some kind of communication with this person or situation, whatever this is. And I don't think that you're not invested in whatever you've committed yourself to. I think that right now you're trying to be loyal to yourself. And that is disruptive for somebody else because your attention and your focus isn't on them. I won't say you're not the problem, but it's their perception that you are the problem okay so it's like here's my offer I mean you look at these two cards they're like one and the same there's an there's this thing kind of falling into her hand she's waiting for it there's the ace of pentacles right like same energy and then you look at this um knight of pentacles in the reverse it's same energy pentacle in hand right but coming out in the reverse position I feel like somebody thinks that you've retracted something from them and you're focused on yourself, your own abundance. How do you get there? There's another pentacle in the hand. So I, I still stand by revision. You made some kind of um, heartfelt gesture that that knight of pentacles, a heartfelt gesture to something or somebody and again, I don't think you are not following through. I think that you, you know, you have to love yourself and take care of you first. And then from there, you bring in a lot more abundance from your side of a situation. And somebody else needs to also work on their selves so that when you two come together, whether this is work, love, or anything in between, that it alchemizes because you're bringing the best versions of yourself. And somebody else just may not see it this way. You may see it this way. They don't see it this way. So it's kind of like they're feeling slighted and it's pissing them off to be straight with you. Like they're not happy that you are being courageous enough to step into your space of abundance for yourself. King of Wands are taking action. Ace of Pentacles again. Um, you, it's like three of swords someone again feels like you've taken something from them somehow um feeling backstabbed and betrayed by your decisions of what your focus is on what is this for pisces spirit the world card they listen they could be giving you an ultimatum i'm going to give you the heads up right now ten of wands um and pisces i wouldn't be surprised if you walked away from whatever this is it's gonna this is as much as the world card is here which is massive faded changes events temperance same thing it's major arcana the hermit sitting here virgo energy you could be dealing with a virgo it doesn't have to be uh world card uh taurus scorpio leo aquarius king of wands uh sag leo aries as well you know i, I really see you just going that's life right say la vie I don't see you giving this a whole lot of weight. 
you're like, if you're causing me problems, six of swords, be on your way. Go ahead and go. I'm not fighting with you. I'm not arguing with you. I feel good. I feel abundant. I'm feeling confident in life right now. Go. I'm probably going to sneeze. Oh, I'm really alive. Oh, excuse me. I don't know whose reading that was earlier. I was like, oh, I gotta sneeze. And I end up yawning instead, like I just did. And then I turned around like a half an hour later and sneezed on it. So there you go. Um, but I just, you're aligning yourself for your higher good Pisces. And I don't think you really give a shit if somebody's not happy with you right now. It's like, go ahead. So, but, and I'm gonna say for some of you, this isn't the first time this person's kind of giving you an ultimatum. They're like, well, either you're going to do this or you're going to do that. And you're just like, you're almost ignoring it. You're like, I am focused on what I need to do for me. Discernment. I am focused on the me. I am focused on I am. And with this world card, you see all the colors of the chakras. It's like, again, you're aligning to your higher purpose. And this person is pissed off and aggravated. And is like, well, what about this ace of pentacles? What about this opportunity, you know? And it's like, I'm creating my own opportunity too. You have your opportunities, I have my opportunities. Why can't they come together in this world? Why can't they come together and complete one another? You know, these, these two can come together and complete one another, right? There's the, there's the you, there's the them. You work on yourselves individually and your own opportunity. And in the middle of this, you bring it together to make happy endings, right? They're seeing it as, this should just be my way. And you're like, I'm manifesting my way. And I'm taking action towards my way for myself. The I, by the way, I, right? The letter I, I, I am. Um, they're, they're, they're not happy, Pisces. There's no other way to describe that. 10 of wands, it's burdensome. All right, let's do a little bit of clarity. 12, 12 on the clock. <coughs> King of Wands. What's up with this King of Wands, Spirit? King of Wands. Ooh. Somebody might have an Italian feeling. Is a say la vie. Fill me in people. I'm gonna have to look it up. Um, is that I don't think it's, it's not Italian, is that French? Condors? I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Go ahead, laugh at me, be like, God, this girl doesn't know what she's talking about. Um, once I go back and reread things, I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. It evades me sometimes. That's my quirky sense of humor and like out there kind of, uh, what do I want to call this? Um, Absent-minded, we'll put it that way. I have that tendency. I am that quirky person. You say something very simple and I'm like, what are you talking about, huh? I right, call those blonde moments, no offense to any blondes out there. Um, but you know, I don't mean it in a negative sense. It's just those airhead moments that I have. All right, anyhow, moving on, enough of me. Um, King of Wands, Spirit, what is this King of Wands about for Pisces? Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. I'm gonna take both of those. Eight of Swords. Pisces, this is like, yeah, this King of Wands. Pisces, I'm not going to say you're dealing with a third party here, but I'm seeing this King of Wands is the other person. I'm seeing this Queen of Pentacles is you. And I'm seeing this Knight of Cups as somebody else. Because this King of Wands and this Knight of Cups are not the same. And what's funny about this to me is you're really not giving a whole lot of weight to anything but yourself. You're focused on where you're going, what you're doing, how you're moving forward. And again, if it creates burdens, you're just retreating right now. Um, it could give you a little anxiety, um, kind of going, I have options and I don't know what to do with those options. But at the same time, like the bur spirit is saying the burden of proof, and I think it's just a matter of their actions, is laying on this King of Wands and this Knight of Cups. 
So if somebody is offering you something, whether it's love or commitment or alliance, it's like, <coughs> I told you, did I not? The sneeze would come, there it is. <clears throat> okay, anyhow. Um, you're, you're not trusting what it is they're saying. You're like, say what you say, but then do what you do. Like, you, you know, whatever you do, that's life. Like, you're going to show me who you are. That's life. And whatever comes of it, that's life. Say lovey. Right? Like, that's how that, that, that feels. So, give me one more spirit. What is this overall energy on this? Seven of cups. If it's causing you conversion, con conversion. If it's causing you confusion, um, I just, I see you putting it down. And I do think that it is, you're, you're think you're giving something here, some weight that is causing confusion, but it's like in the same breath, you're, I won't say you're denying it or ignoring it. Your focus just isn't on it. It is on you. It's on the I am. So maybe you're doing affirmations of I am beautiful. I am abundant. I am happy. I am positive. I am um, flourishing. I don't know. Whatever. I, I am anything. I am moving the hell on. And there's that king of wands trying to cut you off. Going, well, wait a minute. Our wish fulfillment lies here. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, by the way. This Ace of Pentacles. Six of Swords. I told you. Moving on. You have that Six of Swords over here. Rainbows, butterflies on the other side of this goofiness. Um, and I think you're just kind of contemplating. Ace of Pentacles is wanting that new beginning that doesn't come with conditions, is what Spirit is calling it. Conditions. Like, if I pick this cup, then I'm getting this cup too. You know, and it's like, kind of reminds me of... Um, Price is right of all the things in the world. <laughs> it's like playing Plinko. Is it the Plinko where you drop the chips and then like you have three chips and on one of those chips if you pick the wrong one and it falls the wrong way you lose everything. I think is how it went or something like that, right? Or you'd end up with a big fat zero on something. It's kind of how it feels. It's like I could just do without any of it and then it's a done deal, you know? So you know, that's just just how it goes. All right, Ace of Pentacles. What is this Ace of Pentacles? One more card, please, Spirit. One more card for the Ace of Pentacles. Woo! Or ten of them. That'll work, too. Chariot. Moving on. Again, moving on, moving forward. Taking control of your own life. I can't reach. Ace of Swords. Living your own truth. Oh, my goodness. What is going on here? Um... Ace of Swords, living in your own truth, you you know, the, the truth is known. The truth behind a situation is known. It is seen. It is opening you up so that you can move on and move forward. It is taking the reins of your own life and your own destiny here. Page of Pentacles. And you're not, you're not sharing that with other people. And I don't think that that's a bad thing, Pisces. Like, I think that you need to have a sense of yourself. And I think that's what this is about this week is you finding that sense of yourself even through the burdens and the baggage and it's like if I don't know clearly what's going on here and I don't know clearly what's going on here I don't have control of those things but I have control of me and that's where I'm going to put my focus and my energy and I really do think that's where you're moving into a lot of new potential beginnings here that are coming to fruition um, and aligning with your highest good and I think that's a beautiful place for you guys to be in 12 and 21 reflective energies as well. What is this world card about for Pisces? I need that ace of wands sticking up back there too. Three of cups. One more. Or ten more. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Everything is happening at once around here today. Three of cups. Six of pentacles. You're giving back the things that give to you. I honestly see you coming into like the ace. Listen. Pisces. Oh my God. I'm so excited for you right now. I swear to Jesus. So look, Ace of Pentacles, right? You can't make this shit up. The Ace of Pentacles, right? What again? The Ace of Pentacles. What do you got here? The Three of Cups. There, there are three reasons to celebrate. You have three, listen, this might be just a week reading. And I don't think, I haven't done your monthly yet. 
as I point my finger in your face, you're welcome. Oh my God, what is happening here? Um, you have three brand new opportunities coming in. And I'm gonna tell you something. If you've got anybody opposing your happy new beginnings, say la vie, too bad, so sad. Get on with yourself, get on with your life. Like, like go, shoo, 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 shoo. You have this this third option too, and they're pointing this out. Like maybe maybe this King of Wands and this Page of Knight or Page of Page of Knights, Page of Cups. I'm losing it. We'll call them one or two potential possibilities, right? But the third one, whew, sky's the limit. Like shoot your shot, hit the mark, three pointer, whatever. Like you are going to be so goddamn happy. Gosh darn happy. Sorry. It's like you are you are setting sail. Even we got the four of pentacles, the three of swords, and the eight of pentacles here. It's like I will work through this pain at my own pace. Somebody else may be wanting and forcing you to try to work through something that's been very uncomfortable for you. Mm -mm. You're you're gonna have to do it on your own, right? You know, you think about it too. Like when we're kids, like our parents tell us, "Don't do this, don't do that. Learn from my mistakes." Blah 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 blah. blah. It has to be your experience. The only way you're truly gonna know and understand is to have that experience. So if someone's going, you don't wanna do that because if you do it this way, then this is gonna go wrong, blah, 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 and you're supposed to be doing this with me. No, you do it on your terms. Even if it seems stubborn, even if you learn hard lessons, like do it on your terms because you have to have the experience, right? Like, you don't just go off and become a lawyer one day. You have to go to law school. You have to have some kind of experience, some kind of background, something to back you up. That's what this is, okay? And somebody else is just not happy. And that's just tough shit too bad. Plain and simple, tough shit too bad. All right, one more card. <clears throat> Two of Wands, you could be, tra I was gonna say traveling. Look at this, the world card again, the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Wands. Pisces, whatever this is, it's gonna make you so damn happy. I swear to goodness, like, I just, you know, the Ten of Cups, the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, you know, like, for me, like, there's so many cards, right? The sun is the happiest card in the deck. To me, the sun illuminates all kinds of shit that sometimes we didn't want to see. I see that Six of Pentacles. If this is love life, the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, hell yeah. Six of Pentacles is somebody is giving back to you every single thing that you put in. It is an equal partnership. It is, I pour into you, you pour into me, we have this steady flow, nobody is dominating or materializing any more than the other. You have your abundant right to do you, I've got the abundant right to do me, and at the end of this, we're fucking happy. We're genuinely happy. It is aligned, it is rainbows, it is butterflies, will come with challenges, of course. There's nothing in this world that doesn't come with challenges. But no matter what, internally, independently, in Nine of Cups, it's your wish fulfillment. You have been like working to complete this for so long. This has been your end game for the longest time, was just to walk through the door of genuine happiness and peace where you don't feel like somebody else has control of your life. This person or these situations might be at a distance. You might be doing some traveling. But Pisces, this is meant for you. There's something. Something's starting to kind of hatch. We're going to call this, oh, 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 hold on. I get so excited. Oh, no, wait. So one, two. Oh, my God. There's so many circles here. I'm so excited for you guys. I probably get more excited than you do sometimes. One, two, three, four. There's four circles. So three of these being pentacles and then the world card sitting out here, right? Look at this. I said uh, what did I say in the beginning of your reading? I can't remember now. Do you see how many eggs are sitting in her throat chakra? One, two, three, four. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, granted, I know this is the world card and it is not a pentacle. But you see those, right? Like, you can't. You can't not see what I see here. And the way I see this world card too, I, I, and I, you have the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords here as well. Bear with me. 
I know this is a little off of what would you most people would view this as, but this is how I'm seeing it. Your Ace of Pentacles. You call this your, I don't know, how do I want to put this? Look, at the end of the day, this is where I'm going. You've got four aces in the tarot deck. The pentacles, the cups, the swords, the wands. So you've got three. The completion is four. You've got the ace of swords here. You've got the ace of wands. Everything but technically the ace of cups. It's coming. All of this is whatever you've been working on. Nonetheless, though, you've got the nine and the ten of cups. Like I'm, where I'm going with this, I'm not 100% sure. I don't know what these opportunities are for you, right? Because everybody is going to be very different. But I love this. I love this for you. And who cares? Say la vie, right? To who have, you know, yes. That's life, dude. This is the way it goes. I don't know what to tell you anymore. Bon voyage. Let them, if they want to be miserable, let them. You do you. I, I don't know what else to say to this. Like, I love this for you. You're moving on, you're moving forward. The Six of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Chariot. Moving on. Who knows? Maybe you're doing some interna international travel. And if you are, send me a postcard. <laughs> like, you know, <clears throat> like, I'm excited for you guys. <sighs> to me, <sighs> That Six of Pentacles, that Three of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, that Ten of Cups together. I mean, that, that's beautiful. It's beautiful freaking energy. And it's on the other side of what has been heavy and weighed you down for so long. My God, take the opportunities. If it doesn't turn out to anything fabulous, because the Aces are just potential, you had an experience. Go. Live. Don't do anything stupid, right? Don't be careless and reckless. <laughs> But this is new growth for you. And Spirit's saying that Ace of Pentacles and that Queen of Pentacles is the King of Pentacles. Maybe you'll meet your King. I don't know. I like this for you. I don't know why, but I do. I was excited from the second I opened this reading and I heard say La Vie. All right, Pisces, I'm leaving it there. Drop me a line. Let me know what the hell's going on in your world. I'm super excited for you guys. Um, personal readings are, uh, information can be found in the description box below the about section of the page. Uh, visit me at holisticallyzenwb.com for a full list of products and services. I'm wishing you guys the very best. Have a wonderful week and I will see you soon. Bye.